Canva have just released a brand new update that's going to be an absolute game changer for Amazon KDP. And in this video, I'm going to show you three quick ways you can use this update to instantly boost the performance of your KDP book creation. Now, the first thing you can do with this brand new update is take elements from any image and use it in your own Canva design or in KDP terms, you can take any element from one of your competitors book covers and use it on your own front cover if you can't find that element yourself. So simply all you would do is click into the image that you want. You take your competitors book cover, for example, press edit image and then just press this magic grab button and then choose what you want to grab. So I'm going to go on the click option and then click this clock, then just press grab. And what it's going to do is going to cut out everything else and you can just take this element and use it in your design, which in my opinion is really, really useful. So again, you're just taking the clock off here and let's just say you had your own book cover design here and you wanted to drop this in, you can do exactly that. So you can take elements from your competitors' books or just any other image that you want or you have inspiration from for your book cover and literally put it onto yours with this magic grab feature. And now in my opinion, that is an absolute game changer when it comes to creating book covers on Amazon KDP. Now the second really cool feature of this brand new update that's going to really change the game for KDP and it's actually going to rival Mid Journey and Dali when it comes to image generation is Canva now have their very own AI image generator. So all you need to do is go over to the elements section here and then just press this generate your own image and you can literally create any image you want just from a prompt. And beyond that you can also do it in certain styles so watercolor, dreamy, photo, filmic, anime and you can also change the aspect ratio. Not only can you create images, you can also create graphics. So similarly, if you want to have a clock like this, let's say you didn't want to take it from a competitor, you can maybe go into here and actually just create your own version yourself. So that's really, really powerful. So for this example, we're going to go and create a book cover for a unicorn coloring book. So we're going to go in here and just type in unicorn cartoon style. We're not going to necessarily have the style here because there's no real cartoon version here that we want for our book and then just go for the portrait aspect ratio and then just press generate image and as you can see canva has generated four images that we can use for our book covers this is actually quite a cool one here so i'm going to go ahead and select this one and use this for our front cover now as you can see with this specific image we're not actually able to pull it all the way across our screen because it's just leaving no space for kind of text where we can create our book cover usually you have like the text of the title of the book and this image is just a little bit too big. But what you can do is use another part of Canva's AI and just go to this edit image button and then just press background remover. And what that's going to do is remove this background and then we can use the actual image that we want without the background as big or small as we want. So here now we have our unicorn and we can just do this and then add any background we want to it. And then we can also go ahead and add text to it too. So that's a really cool thing that you can use with this brand new update. You can actually create images for your book cover entirely in Canva. Now specifically with this tool, you can also generate images for the interior of your coloring book entirely in Canva. So we're gonna go back into this exactly the same tool and just type in unicorn coloring page simple. Again, I'm very experimental with this because it has just come out and go ahead and press generate image and let's just see what comes off the back of this prompt. So as you can see, there have been four images produced from this result. And I actually like this top image here. Although it's not necessarily the style that I wanted, I wanted something a little bit more simple that's useful uh, for a children's coloring book. If you wanted something for maybe adults, this kind of style would be really cool too. Now at this point, it's worth mentioning that this is a brand new update. So in terms of the best way to communicate with this AI, it's still a little bit unknown, but what I'm going to do over the next few days is spend hours going through here and researching the best way to communicate this so you can get exactly the images that you're looking for. For anyone that's used Mid Journey before, you know how much of a science there is to actually what prompts you're using there. And this is going to be exactly the same. But once I've figured out exactly how to do that, I am going to create a brand new video on my Amazon KDP Mastery course for the students over there to show you exactly how you can make an entire coloring book purely within Canva thanks to this new AI. So if you want to check out that video, you can also check out Amazon KDP Mastery with the link that I will leave down in the description below. It's essentially my step-by-step -step blueprint for how I created a six-figure Amazon KDP self-publishing business. So if you want to check that out, I will leave a link below down in the description. So now the final way that we can use this new update to improve the quality of our books is actually away from kind of graphics and images and moving into your book descriptions and rewriting and rephrasing different words. So I've just put in a random description that I generated in ChatGPT 
And I want to make it a little bit more formal. So all I have to do is click into the text I want to change, go to this magic write button and you can do loads of different things with your text. You can continue writing it, you can shorten it, you can improve it, you can fix the spelling, you can change the voice, you can make it more fun. But what I'm going to do is make it more formal. So I'm going to press this and it's going to change it into a bit more of a formal description. So as you can see, it's changed. Embark on a thrilling adventure with our dinosaur activity book for kids. Now, I'm not going to bore you reading the whole description, but you can see just how powerful that can be. And it's worth mentioning here, I absolutely would not just copy and paste AI generated descriptions for your KDP books. But what you can do is use AI, as I mentioned previously in many videos, to build the basis and the foundation of your description. And if you're not necessarily too good with words, you can go in and use this feature and put it in kind of the tone of voice that you want. Then just go in and change a few words, make it a bit more unique to kind of your tone of voice and how you want it to look. And then that is perfectly fine to use with your descriptions. I just would recommend not completely copy and pasting anything either from ChatGPT or any kind of AI text generation software. So there you go. There are three ways you can use this brand new Canva update to improve the quality and the speed in which you create your Amazon KDP books. Now, I'm sure this is just the tip of the iceberg, because as I mentioned, this has only just been released. So I'm not even sure what else you can do with it. But what I'm going to do is go through and explore all of these brand new features and then give a full tutorial of exactly how you can use this brand new update to boost your KDP sales. If you do want to see a full tutorial on all of the features of this new update, then let me know down in the comments section below and I'll be happy to make that video for you all. But in the meantime, I hope you got some value from these three tips and you can use them straight away for your KDP book creation. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe for more Amazon KDP content and I will see you in the next one.